Well, here I am at Aberdeen Airport and we are going on a holiday to Munich. We took the 1720 flight from Aberdeen to Amsterdam and then we had a one hour 15 minute connection in Amsterdam before catching the onward flight to Munich. This is what I tend to do when I'm on holiday. I finish work and then I go straight from work to the airport and then vice versa on the way back and that way we can enjoy the full allocation of time for our holiday. So I'm having Balmoral chicken, £16.50 and I think Rachel said she is having pie and mash. Right. Cheers Rachel. <laughs> So our flight was delayed by 10 minutes out of Aberdeen, but it was only delayed by 5 minutes into Amsterdam. We will make our connecting flight, which was originally a 1 hour 10 minute connection time. We'll find out. But if we don't, historically KLM have looked after us and put us in an okay hotel. We arrived gate D31 and we are walking to gate B18 and we've got passport control to deal with. So it's quite a long way. Right, let's see what we've got in terms of passport control. Uh, I've seen worse, but there should be tight, short connections. So yeah, so that'll be fine. It's quite a busy place, lots of people in a hurry wanting to get to their gates as fast as possible but passport queues not too bad in the evening time. I can tell you though in the morning time you can be waiting an hour in a terrible queue with a lot of very stressed people but yeah very busy airport here. Well, it's a busy gate, that's for sure. Flights departing every 30 minutes from this gate. I'm guessing it's just a bus gate, that's for sure. There's the bus. Embraer 195 E2. It's the one with the big, one with the big engines. Oh, we've just about got a window seat, a window, but not much. We made it into Munich. My bag also made it into Munich. Sadly, though, Rachel's bag did not. We're going to talk about that in a little while. But in the meantime, there was quite a bit of stress at the baggage carousel exit that way. So one of the things I want to talk about is the Munich public transport app. You can download this on your Apple App Store and it will appear as MVV app. You open it up and you go to the top left button and you have to set up your profile details. So your name, your address, your telephone, email and also your payment details. If you want to search for a place, you just go to search and you select plan route. You select Munich airport in this case, like that. And then you want your destination. So we want to have a particular location. So we want to go into the middle of Munich and we have got uh, Elisenhof in this instance, right there. Oh, Marienplatz even, yes. So. Uh, that is going to be our destination. So you select destination and it will tell you what your uh, departure times are going to be. If you are arriving uh, on a late evening flight, say 22.45, which was the case in our situation, it was 20 minutes late. Let's look for departures at 23.30, see what there is. And you can see on route S1, we have got a departure at 23.31 and then at every 20 to 25 minutes. They go very late into the evening time. 
So in this example, we'll just select uh, 13 euros 50, 60, this one here. You can see the approximate routes that it takes and whether there are any changes uh, along the way. So uh, we've got a 13 euro 60 ticket. Let's show tickets. So one way it's 13 euro 60. You can get a day ticket, 15 euros 50. And that will give you uh, unlimited travel in all the zones for that day. I will note, however, it's not a 24 hour ticket. All day tickets will expire at six o'clock in the morning the following day. So you're not going to get too much value for money by buying a day ticket at 2300 hours. Uh, the other thing I will say is that group tickets are more than twice the cost of a single ticket. Uh, but it is less than twice the cost of a day ticket. So in this instance, I want to buy two single tickets, one for me, one for Rachel. So you select that one and it will tell you the uh, ticket is going to be effective immediately. You don't have to activate it. Uh, so you need to uh, be mindful of that. You buy with Apple Pay, nice and easy. Now to buy a ticket for another person, you just hit the back button and you buy another ticket uh, uh, after you've purchased your first ticket. And then you've got two tickets on your phone. Now, of course, you can use the regular ticket machines at uh, the uh, railway stations, but I do find this quite uh, useful. But as you can see, the app is a mix of German and English. So your main navigation points are in English. But Einzel Fahrkarte, well, I know that's a single ticket, but if you're not very good with your German, you probably don't know that. Um, Targus Fahrkarte uh, is a day ticket. Uh, Gruppen Targus Karte is a group ticket. As you can see, it can be remarkably good value for money if there is a group of up to five people. Very good value for families. Um, now, in terms of ticket prices, on a day-to-day -day basis, if you're in the city center of Munich, you're typically looking at either three euros 80 for a single or one euro 90 for a single. Um, and I think it's about 10 or 12-ish euros for a day ticket in the middle of Munich. Looks like we're taking the manual stairs. Uh. Okay, I think uh, Aus Ausgang this way. You reckon? Yes, they are. Oh, thank goodness. So we are at Marienplatz. We're about 12 minutes walk away from the Hotel. Okay, this way. Oh wow. It's very dark here, isn't it? No, no, I mean, there's just hardly any street lighting. It is very odd. No street lighting at all. Right, Hotel Altmünchen. Here is the place to be. in the morning time and we're going to go for a little wander through Munch, Munich. So I think we're going to go back to Marienplatz and uh, have a look at the, what it looks like in the daytime. I do like these kind of uh, ornate facades. So Rachel, I didn't do too much filming after we got into the airport last night. No. And do you want to explain what happened last night? My bag got missing. Yeah, so KLM delivered my bag. But my bag off the... They didn't deliver Rachel's bag, which is uh, a bit of a pest, shall we say. But apparently it's on uh, this morning's flight. But Rachel, 
we're allowed to claim for uh, no thank you we're allowed to claim for uh, reasonable expenses so do you want to oh no i can't we're going to have to show you the reasonable expense a t-shirt a t-shirt with a, t -shirt. a, sausage dog with a sausage a bavarian sausage, sausage dog. dog yes we'll show that later anyway this is what we're coming up to marienplatz looking a bit more illuminated this morning so here we are in marienplatz this is the uh Rathaus Gallery. I think it's the Rathaus, the main town, town building. Up here, I think it's that balcony up there. There is a display. It's a proper animated display which happens at a particular time each day. So, very ornate building. I do like this. This is quite lovely. Let's just look around the, the rest of it. That's what we saw coming out of uh, the U-Bahn, no, the S-Bahn, yesterday evening. So it's a compact uh, little uh, town square. I quite like these kind of places. They're, they're lovely. So we have got lifts to the Rathaus Tower, so we go in this lift here. Right. Number four. So, here we are, tower this way. There's another lift going up. Nice view. all the way down to Marienplatz and that's uh, looking looking west I think and here's looking east in Marienplatz I'd like to take my drone here but I've left uh, Dizzy the drone behind this would be the perfect view for it Northern view. You can just about see the outline of the Bavarian Alps in the distance. So, we're heading from Marienplatz along Denierstraße, another shopping street, and uh, we're on our way to the English gardens. Uh, so, despite the name, I've been told it's quite genteel. Uh, it takes about 17 minutes by U-Bahn or S-Bahn, but uh, 19 minutes walking, so we're walking. I think walking is a bit more scenic, don't you think? So, I wonder what this is. Where's Charm, Polly? Residence München. Okay, this is the palace. This um, apparently is absolutely enormous, this palace. The emblem of Munich, the Lion of Munich? Or Bavaria. I don't or know. Bavaria, maybe. I know Munich or Bavaria, I'm not quite sure, I can't remember. So, if there is a unicorn to counter the lion in Germany, that would be uh, interesting to find out about. Because, of course, the lion and the unicorn are partners in the United Kingdom even though they're sworn enemies or something like that. Is that right? Well, Aberdeen, the leopard, the leopardy. Ah, okay. Did you not know that? The leopard, leopardy. Nope. But Aberdeen, the leopard. Ah, the leopard. The bonacard leopard, bonacard cat. Yes. So we turn right this way, straight into here, quite a lovely place. So now we walk through here, 
on the way to the English Garden. I think this is one of the... No, no, not yet, not yet, not yet. This is the way to it. And you know what? I think this is just absolutely lovely. Look at it. This is what you get by not saving two minutes on the U-Bahn. But of course, we're taking a little bit longer than the prescribed time. Oh, look at these flowers. They're lovely. Yeah. Lavender. Yep. Look at that. Nearly there, Hofgarten. <laughs> Plenty of things to explore here. So we are at the start of the English gardens. Ah, it looks like a very nice place to be. Where we feed them? Yeah, it does look like they want some scran, don't doesn't it? Yes, the mooching, the moochers. Uh, you two are wanting some scran, well are you? You just come over here. So just like the fish, you want something. So, yeah, it's like as soon as you come to the lakeside, that's it. They want something. So we have uh, quite a fast flowing uh, river here and so rapids coming out uh, from this uh, tunnel but it's a swift flowing river it's uh, really quite quite a decent uh, flow in it. Lovely September's day everyone's out including the geese. So here we are Spiraling up to the monument. We started there, we then looped round to here, which is where you've got your rapids. And then we are we went to the, the Monto Pateros, and now we are there. And it gives you an idea. It, I think we've been walking for about 45 minutes. We're not even uh, halfway across to the Lock at the other end or lake. Here we are. So, beer garden. I think it uh, looks like you, there's a restaurant here as well. Looks very nice. So, here we are at the lake at the north end of the garden. Quite a magnificent church tower here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say this is the biggest church hall I have ever been in. And this is the Frauenkirk. Uh, it's interested in me, I suppose. It's <laughs> a <laughs> 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 Sunday. Lots of church bells ringing at just before 10 o'clock. 
One problem with Sundays, buy whatever drinks you need for Sunday on Saturday. We did not do that and it's a hot day. Everything's closed except for maybe a few uh, takeout places. Um, so yeah, it's uh, gonna, I'm gonna be flagging a little bit uh, today. So yes, just a top tip for, for Germany. I'm guessing that also applies to Austria as well. Well, this morning we are going to be talking about another topic. We're not going to be talking about money like this. We're going to be talking about another kind of money which we don't have in the United Kingdom. So this is one of the typical supermarkets. And we'll go down here. We'll have a chat about the kind of money you can use here. So this is the money deposit machine. And this is the currency. You do that, you do that, you do that. I think it works with glass bottles, we'll see. Oh no, it doesn't work with glass bottles. Never mind. And we'll do that. And we'll do that. And we'll do that. I think that's all. No, it doesn't like that one. Try it one more time. No, why does it not do that? Ah, that's why, it's British, that's why. Right, so we'll just do that. And then you get some money, like that. So one euro 25, we'll buy some something with that. So after depositing that, I got two of these one liter bottle bottles with the voucher from the supermarket. And you're gonna have to ask the question, why don't we do that in the United Kingdom? Well, the Scottish government tried and they failed due to pushback. I can't remember all the politics, but it was quite recent. I think Westminster got involved and all sorts of that, uh, all sorts of that. But this is absolutely normal in Europe to pay a deposit on packaging, especially for bottles, and then get that re deposit returned when you return your plastic bo bottles back to the back to the supermarket and it keeps plastic bottles like this in circulation and it does encourage some more meaningful recycling it's a small step i mean there's a lot more packaging which isn't collected in, uh, by this uh, deposit return scheme but they do have quite a comprehensive uh, waste sorting uh, measure going on in uh, residential homes in this country. So that's just a thought. Um, it's uh, something which might be unfamiliar to a lot of British people and certainly to a lot of Americans, um, but here, absolutely normal. So we were supposed to go to the Brandhoff Museum today. Unfortunately, on a Monday, it's closed. Quite a lot of museums are closed on a Monday, so it's a very similar arrangement to elsewhere. Um, opens at, on a Tuesday, but we've got uh, other ideas for tomorrow. So instead, you want modern art, don't you? Yes. How's this for modern art? House of Banksy. So we're going to take a, a wander in here and uh, let's see what there is. Well, here, you've got the choice of the stairs or you can take the, the little slide. So this unofficial exhibition cost 22 euros in terms of entry fee per adult. And I'm gonna to have to say, I really enjoyed it. It was well worth it. Compared to the Brandhoff Museum, which we visited later on, I'm gonna to have to say, I've got a new appreciation for Banksy after watching all of this. So how do you find the Banksy Museum? It's very good. Yes, well, Definite, gonna... definitely, uh, uh, definitely uh, a good alternative to Andy Warhol, yeah. I think. But we're still going to do Andy Warhol there. Yes. But so, no, Banksy was very good and he's a person with integrity, so he makes you really look at things. Yep. So I like buying stuff, it kind of makes me think about it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm a consumerist. 
So we're approaching Carl's Platz. Let's just have a look. I'm not too sure what this building is over here. Bonnie. It's very uh, ornate, isn't it? Uh, so we're just going to be looking for some lunch, which I think is going to be a breakfast. We haven't had a breakfast yet. We haven't had a breakfast yet. So <laughs> there are three days. There are three days without a breakfast and still no luggage. Still no luggage. But apparently it's been found. So it's not lost. It's not lost, but we have got some more emergency items from a shop known as CNA, which of course used to uh, used to exist in our country, but it still exists over in this country. And it was good prices, cheap. Cheap, what was it? About nine euros for nine, a t-shirt. Nine euros for a cute t-shirt with and, a hat on it. And nine euros for a pack of free socks. So going into Karlsplatz uh, station, this is an S-Bahn and U-Bahn station. Lots of uh, Lots of shops underneath here. Um, it's a good place to good, uh, go, but it's also a very good way of uh, crossing the street, especially these busy streets. You don't have to deal with the traffic at all, uh, but plenty of shops. Still no breakfast though. Right, well, when in, uh, when in Munich, let's see, open up some uh, some brat first. I've, uh, I've got some chips which say sharing the chips. Very good. Thank you. So walking east from Karlsplatz. This will take you down this pedestrian uh, shopping street. Okay, so here we are, Residence Strasse. And we're going to be heading into Munich Residence. Now the entry fee to the Munich Residence was about 10 euros per adult if you buy it at the desk when you arrive. Mm -hmm. However, I think you can get discounts if you buy it in advance online through various ticket agencies. I'm going to have to say it is a very impressive tour. It's highly recommended. At one point in the tour, you've got two options. You can take a short walk or you can take a long walk. Apparently the long walk is indeed very long. We took the short walk and we were more than satisfied with what we saw. All told, I think the pictures speak for themselves and you should definitely go and visit this place. Fancy moving in? Yes. <laughs> I wouldn't want to. I couldn't afford the electricity bill. What do you think? No, I think you, you couldn't afford to live there because you would be falling into things and smashing everything. <laughs> You'd be tripping over your feet. I think I would. Yes. Yep. So I think what we need to do now is go back and have a coffee and cake. Sounds a good plan. And then we're going to the Deer Beer Garden. Yes, beer garden. we'll talk about that in a little bit. Yes. So where are we going? To see the deer. Yeah. So this is the Koniklika Hirschgarten that we're taking. So we're going to be taking uh, tram number 16 or 17. This one is tram 18 by the looks of things, so that's not the one for us. So we take uh, tram 17, which I think is the one right behind. Yeah. There we are. So that's one. And then we've got this other one here. So we'll get on this one here. There we are. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. So, if we go this way. Hello. 
Would you hit that? Hello, Jesus. No. Hello. 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 Hello, Jesus. Oh, you would have cut off. You would have cut off. You would have cut off. Oh, oh, oh. You would have cut off. See that one still falling off? This is the Versed House in Hirschgarten. So that's, that's, the, actual Hirsch, uh, that's the actual garden. Okay. Um, Let's find the deer first before it gets dark. Yeah, I think it's around the back. So here we are in the beer garden. Let's just take a look around this way. Yes, Rachel. So I think uh, Rachel's found her new favorite restaurant in Munich. The ones with the Bambis. The ones with the Bambis. Now I wish I'd brought my big camera because the Bambis are a bit Yeah. So do you know what type of deer these are, Rachel? They're not rows. Fallow deer, maybe? Okay. Yeah, they're not so interested. Oh, we've got a couple of uh, Ooh, bucks, stags. stags. So is this the bit, Rachel, where you want to eat outside and you want to sit here? I'm not sure it's <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Cheers, Rachel. Cheers. <laughs> There we go. House gang. Well, finally, Rachel's bag has arrived late last night. Hooray for the bag. After, I think it was uh, three, days. three days, three days without the bag. So that's it for this video. One extra piece of information, we did get expenses reimbursed for 74 euros by KLM for the delayed luggage. That's a nice piece of good news in this uh, holiday. So in the next video, we are going to be going off to Nuremberg for the day using intercity train. And then we're gonna have a few more days in Innsbruck where we use a hire car. So in the meantime, I'd like to thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you again very soon.